All right, guys, so in today's video, I want to talk about boring market conditions and how to trade them properly. So as you know, Bitcoin is not doing too much right now, guys, and we are not getting any price movement. Bitcoin is basically bouncing between 29 to about 31K, and I'm going to explain you how to trade and what the best way is to trade in these type of market conditions, guys. So make sure to subscribe, smash up the like button, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and I'm trying to answer all of your questions in my YouTube comment section, guys. So so let's talk about that real quick um, as you can see like i said guys bitcoin is not doing too much right now we are basically just bouncing between 28 to about 31k and the best way to trade these type of market conditions guys it's quite easy all you have to do in these type of market conditions is just to trade support and resistance so with that being said you can identify right now very clear where we have support and where we have resistance right we have some kind of support around $28,600 dollars and we we have definitely some kind of resistance between 30,600 to about 31,400 dollars. So support and resistance is always a range. It's not only one line. Support is not only exactly one price target. It's always a range. So you can, for example, say, oh, all right, we have one range, one support range around 28,600 dollars to let's say $28,400 and we have this supply range over here between $30,500 to about $31,500. This is the first thing you have to do. You have always to break down the charts first of all maybe in the daily time frame. Let's switch actually into the daily time frame real quick. So you can see in the daily time frame we have some kind of support right here and in the daily time frame we have some kind of resist resistance around 31k right and then you have basically to break down the chart in the four hour time frame and there we have basically the same targets but in the four hour time frame we have also one type of zone right here guys around $29,500 you can see it very clear for example we had some kind of support right here then we, fl we flipped it into a uh, new resistance had a successful breakout then we had another resistance right here another resistance right here guys around $29,500 and you can see right now Basically, we did not manage to hold this previous resistance as a new support. And right now we are going to see a huge breakdown, right? So then you have your resistance and support areas in the daily time frame and also in the four hour time frame. So if you're just trying basically to take long and uh, long and short positions between support and resistance, all you have to do is try to take long trades at support areas with the um, uh, positive risk reward ratio. For example, let's just take one to two and then if we are going and if you're heading again into resistance all you have to do is just to take short trades again with the pro uh, profitable risk reward ratio like that for example guys and if you are just taking like let's say <clears throat> the trades right here over the last couple of days uh, over the last couple of days let's say you took a short trade right here with the take profit target at support around twenty eight thousand seven hundred dollars with the stop loss somewhere around risk reward ratio one to two let's say around thirty one thousand and five hundred dollars you would have already one profitable trade then after you close this trade you could basically take another long position right here around twenty eight thousand and seven hundred dollars again take your take profit target into resistance risk reward ratio you want to do another profitable trade then we could take another short position right here around thirty thousand five hundred dollars take your take profit target into support uh, again risk reward ratio one to two around thirty one thousand three hundred dollars another profitable trade and right now as you can see the price is coming down already guys uh, into support right here and you could basically take the risk right now and slowly average into your long position right here and then again take profits on the way up around thirty thousand five hundred dollars for example and then again go with the risk reward ratio of one to two you have to understand guys that we are not going to see this range very long but as long as we are able to trade in this range and as long as bitcoin is trading in this range right here you just need to take the possibilities take support longs and take resistance shorts first of all guys it's not financial advice to always your own research i'm just a guy sitting in my room trying to explain you what the best way to trade in uh, boring market conditions but always do your own research of course and then of course you are basically just waiting until we are getting a confirmed breakout above key support or key resistance so with that being said if we are going to see for example a break down guys and we are not able to hold this support area right now around twenty eight thousand and six hundred dollars 
then you could for example wait for a potential retest this previous resistance is going to flip into new support and then you could basically take for example the potential short trade right here again risk reward one to two let's say you are uh, going with the um, um, take profit target area somewhere around twenty six thousand and five hundred dollars and this could be another short possibility you don't want to win 100 percent of the time guys this is not your um th this is basically not what you want to do all you have to do is just to have a win rate between 50 to 70 percent and that's it and like i said only if you took short and uh, long trades right here between support and resistance you would be up already with three trades in a row with a risk reward ratio of one to two and like i said if we are going to see a confirmed breakdown for example below key support around twenty eight thousand and five hundred dollars you could just take right here potential short trade and then again take profits on the way down and on the other hand of course if we are going to see a confirmed breakout above thirty thousand and six hundred dollars right here in this range if you're going to see a breakout right here and uh, bitcoin is able to reclaim this area successfully then you could for example just take right here potential long trade and then cover your um position into strength somewhere around next resistance around thirty four thousand dollars this is all you have to do if we are trading for example like we are trading right now in boring market conditions guys that's it. We'll try to take long trades at support areas and try to take um, um, short trades at resistance areas. And then if we are going to see a, finally a breakout and Bitcoin is breaking above key resistance or key support, then you can adjust your strategy and then you can take, for example, a breakout trade or otherwise, for example, a short trade, guys. And this is, uh, like I said, the best way to go if we are going sideways and then like i said if we can identify for example another strong trend we can for example go back um let's say let's just say in 2021 guys we had right here the same scenario right we had also sideways consolidation you could basically take shorts right here longs right here for about two months you would be profitable with trading and then after we had finally this successful breakout you could basically identify a potential long uh trend um sorry uptrend right here we are making higher highs and also higher lows and then if we are going into an uptrend of course you have to adjust your strategy and you have to change your strategy and then you can take breakout long trades and um other type of strategies of course and this is how you want to trade guys basically in the four hour time frame don't overcomplicate it always try to keep it simple always try to identify where supply and where demand is and um, then you can be basically uh, profitable with trading also in boring market conditions you don't have to wait always until we are getting a breakout you can just take like i said support long trades short resistance trades until we are getting finally a breakout if you want to trade guys i'm always trading on bybit i have right now also an exclusive four thousand five hundred dollar bonus down below my description on bybit all you have to do is just to use my link down below guys sign up it takes only about 15 or 20 seconds and then after your initial deposit you can always make sure to withdraw your money back again into your wallet if you're profitable with trading if you want to get my trade setups if you want to know how i'm setting my trades with my exact stock losses and take profit areas you can check out my patreon in my private discord community also down below in the description guys and yeah with that being said like i already mentioned if you have any questions if if you want to see some more um videos like that where i'm explaining how to trade boring market conditions how to trade um uptrends how to trade downtrends let me know down below in the comments and yeah guys thank you all for tuning in make sure to subscribe smash up the like button leave a comment down below and i would say see you for another tutorial guys bye bye <music>